Hello everybody, welcome back to another LEGO haul video and this is going to be a very big LEGO haul video. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that I have changed my channel name to The Racing Brick just to, due to confusion of uh, the other YouTube channel, Racing Brick. Uh, I just didn't want much confusion. Instead, I changed to Brick Motorsports. Uh, I think that's a much cooler name and I think you could agree. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Uh, I have some very large and small sets and exciting sets I would like to show. First of all, I would like to uh, show you my first missing pieces order. And this is not, these aren't missing pieces. I don't even know from the set. But as you all know, I am starting to do a Mills road plate uh, mill system. First, uh, I got some uh, turquoise 2x2 uh, two two bricks. And this is probably only enough to do one. And I have some, the lines for the roads, as you can see right there. And I have some carrots and the carrot tops with, and the studs, lime green studs with the holes in them. So I can use those carrots as my farm, which I have on my shelves. And I'm gonna make like a little farm scene. I kind of have a carrot farm. And also I have some four by six dark bluish grays for the mills red plates so I can put them a level higher where I, then I can put the tiles that I have shown in the previous haul video and I have some more carrots and tops and I have and these this is pick a brick and I have no idea how I got more than some of that I must have added a few more in there or something I don't know anyway uh, I ordered seven of these uh, 8 by uh, 16 uh, row plates, the new one. This one is found in the, the family uh, house one. Uh, but Or they can be in the row plates with the lines that are printed. But I decided to get the non-printed so I can make T-sections with the... Let's see how much? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... Uh, yes, 12 of the 16 by 16 plates. So it could look like this. If you could see, you know, and I'll discuss the Mills Road Plate uh, in another video. And what is, what is all funny is, put this to the side here. And I think I ordered two rat pieces in here. Yep, here they are. There is a rat piece in there, if you could tell. So I got two of those rat pieces you can find in the little the little construction set that came out in 2021. Anyway, just so I can put them in the city or make alleys. And what is funny is because I ordered put all those missing pieces in pick a brick order. And it, I started this in the start of August. And I wanted to get a promo, which was you could see the sailboat right here. Uh, but that now all those pick a brick and everything well, well, totaled up to $200. But and this was a $200 promo to do. But I didn't want to feel like doing this all another time. So again, I uh, got some more sets. And with that promo, I'll show you in a second. And I'll be doing a separate little uh, mention video just like this because I like these bigger promos, just like the Amelia Earhart one. Unfortunately, I did not get that vintage car earlier this year, but it's okay. But. Anyway, first of starting these sets I ordered, um, I ordered two of these white base plates, the 32 by 32 stud ones, um, for the shelves so I can make a snow scene, like people can ice skate, ski, like snow ski and uh, play hockey and, you know, I'll put a whole bunch of cool things in there. And, and, the new, and this is also, I'm gonna start going from the newer, the bigger sets now. And this is the Creator 3-in-1 Ferris wheel that came out also in 2021 in uh, August, I believe. Yeah, in the start of August. And uh, there's a thousand two pieces, two pieces off a thousand. And maybe I might, uh, actually no, I'm not because the price per piece, I mean, I could do a lot of these, but you can do bumper car and a little swing. I'm not gonna do a swing, but also when I'm doing the shelves is an amusement park. And I'm gonna make a bumper cars in uh, Ferris wheel. Anyway, I would 
I'll update. I'll I will update you guys all on that and make another video on that anyway for amusement park and uh, same thing with all the other uh, shelves the scenes I'm doing but I am going to Ikea sometime and I will show you I'll do a little vlog style video there next up we have a cre another creative three-in-one set this came out in 2019 I believe uh, it's a town's pet shop and cafe with 969 pieces uh, Again, this is a really nice corner modular, mini modular, but it is pretty big, unlike the uh, toy store one. But I might, uh, I don't think I'm going to get another one, but you can see down here, I think I'm, I might choose that, but I'm going to build a regular version here, speed wheel version. Actually, who knows, I might even uh, take apart and build all three of them, sort of like what Jang Bricks did, and reviewed all three. But this one's more modular, I can put that the city and you know but anyway that is a really nice set I've been waiting to get there and the last set is of course another relating to uh, my shelves and this is the underwater sea world uh, set is uh, 497 pieces and this was $80 actually so it's because of these big molds that you get and but anyway, this is really cool. I think this would look really nice in the underwater sea world compared to down here on my little shelf here. I have my uh, my submarine in there, and I think the the shelves will be like 30 inches long, wide, and 10 inches deep, like where I can fit three base plates in IKEA Billy shelves, which is I think is going to be a really nice display. Anyway, that'll look really nice and make an underwater sea world right there. Anyway, uh, those are it for bigger sets. Now, today, as the time of this video, I really I went out and picked up uh, this little. First, I had a little another little Lego haul I've been waiting, but the all the sets and stuff I showed you before I have ordered and they showed up to my house a little later. But but it was pick a brick, so they they come a little late. And first, I've been waiting to get this poly bag, the Lego stand the pad wall or pick a brick I think this would look really nice in like a little park or in a little city next to like you know ice cream shop lemonade stands I could probably mock and make but this would look really nice uh, I don't think I'm gonna build this on camera I might but I'll just you know I'll include it in one of my videos but anyway uh, and first and or actually second I have this this is my first Lego ideas product this Lego Ideas Dinosaur Fossils. Uh, I loved, I always liked dinosaurs when, when I was a little kid, and I still do, like, still, like, just learn about them, obviously. Now I'm a, a T Fall, Teen Fan of Lego. Uh, this will look really nice on a display, and this is a set that will be retiring at the end of 2021. So is and I love I, I had a Lego ideas Ghostbuster set before but I was always into Lego as I am now as I learned more in COVID anyway but it comes with the pterodactyl the Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Triceratops fossil with a, a minifigure two minifigures actually one is uh, you know like make sure to clean you know like a custodian at the museum and there is a skeleton looking one maybe from like a what humans look like then when that's the skeletal remains but this is the number 28 Lego ideas number and like I said before this is retiring at the end of 2021 and this is probably a must-have uh, for me obviously uh, other than uh, the promo I showed you earlier anyway I also wanted to do uh, because the the Lego store I went to today, it wasn't official. Like whenever I buy stuff, I can't really get P VIP points. Uh, but it was, it's not official. But here's the first large cup I have here. Um, I have some golden flags. Uh, I try to get some golden flags and some of the little posts I can put the flags on or something. And when I make uh, some little modulars, I have some I some little doors with some door frames in there. And I have some more uh, 2x2 because 
I realized, oh, I just just get them now, just because I'm only getting door frames. It didn't, there wasn't really much other than bricks and uh, and this other cool, uh, you know, doors and flags here. But and then I stumbled upon fences, but I will use them for my uh, uh, farm, like you know, keep the rats out and everything. But I stumbled upon these uh, flat. Uh, I have the two by four. Uh, uh, bricks here so I can uh, level out and make like hills of sand for my desert area where I have my rally cars and everything and same with here I have some more 2x2 two two, and I have some 1x2 uh, two, uh, bricks and I have some 2x2 two two bricks in there and I added a I decided I'll just go with a little, few more flags just so I guess I can make like a little tiny track and that that could be like the where the wind is blowing in there anyway this is my really excited about these uh, I it was the first time I went to an actual picker brick other than ordering online at, at, for the first time actually because I wanted to go but then some states in the US like shut them down completely and some were like would have people uh, doing them for you or and this is really nice because they give you a nice price because even when like people do for you they give you a nice price but now I think the price is back to normal because you do it yourself now but they didn't have any scoopers so I had to use my bare hands I don't know anyway besides that thank you all for watching in today's new Brick Motorsports video um, I, I'm really excited to build all these on camera and show you all I have so many videos more to plan but tomorrow I'll have uh, school again, which kind of kind of sucks and which is exciting. Kind of sucks because I can't make videos all day like I used to. But I am very excited, as I said, <laughs> to make all these videos and show you all. Anyway, a comment would be very nice to see and let me know what Lego set or like vlog type video you would like to see. And please leave a like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. Anyway. Bye for now, guys.